Hey everyone, I'm Casey Martin from Wine Country Woodworks and Wine Country Mica Powder and today is going to be a quick tip sort of video on push sticks and cutting pen blanks on the table saw. So this video primarily is just going to be talking about the pros and cons of different types of push sticks that I in particular really like, especially when it's when it comes to cutting resin, resin pen blanks in particular and also using a push stick that works for overarm dust collection. In my current interim shop that I'm in right now, I don't have my overarm dust collector set up, but throughout this video talking about the pros and cons, I'll be showing some clips of in my past shop, which will have a similar setup as my new shop, which is coming up in the next several months and showing off why I made this push stick in particular, how it works and things like that. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. So I wanted to talk about the two main different types of push sticks. The one that I've made, which is clearly based off of this black one, the pros and cons of the two and why I ended up making something like this. And as I mentioned, as I talk about these, I'll probably be showing some overlay videos of me cutting blanks in action and can let you all get a good visual of these in action. So first and foremost, this is um, a very common style of push stick. Um, there's a lot of people who use this type of push stick and the biggest pro of this type is that as you push material through the saw, you have a good grip on pushing down on the material. As you can tell, it's very long in where it's gonna be pushing down on the material. Whereas the exact opposite of this in the sense is this part of the push stick is very, very small. You have the large pro of standing with, or your hand being really far away from the material and the blade, but then you don't have as much tension pushing down on it, especially something like this, which is only like five, five and a half inches long. You still can have a tough time keeping it nice and pushed down on the surface of the table. Why I made this one is blending both of these in um, particular and you get the added benefit of if you have an overarm dust collector, you can use this. So as I said, I'll probably show a clip of me using this with the overarm dust collector, pushing it through it. But to show you all what I mean by it's blending the both in between them is this is incredibly long. I think it's like two feet or at least a foot and a half. And so I'm able to stand really far away from the blade and the material. My hand is nowhere near it at all, which I love. I feel very, very comfortable in that sense. But then I also made the part that goes over the material really, really long. As you can see, I am of, of course mainly cutting pen blanks um, the majority of the time on this table saw. So I made it about the length to be able to hold this down no problem. So I can hold something down, push it through no problem while staying really, really far away from the blade. The added benefit, as I said, which I may have already shown or I'm probably gonna show now, is because of this being so long and lower, you can push this through an overarm dust collector, unlike this one, which is never going to work because it's so, so high that having an overarm dust collector up here, you're not gonna catch anything. So I was able to put my overarm dust collector right on my fence and be able to still push this through, get really nice dust collection from inside the cabinet and then also from the overarm as well. Of course, I don't have that set up right now in this interim shop, but we'll, soon again and i'm sure if any of you have seen me cut blanks before in my past videos you know what i'm talking about and i'm sure i've shown it already well everyone i really hope you enjoyed this uh quick tip video on push sticks i know a uh, topic that not a lot of people probably talk about probably something that many of you may have picked up on watching my videos or maybe some of you may not even be in the resin casting realm or cut resin items often but hopefully still got some value from this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps out the channel a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and want to stick around. And let me know what you all think about this quick tips format. I think it's something that could be useful where I just make a really quick video addressing something that I may not have made a dedicated video of in the past that hopefully helps some people out. Maybe a topic that uh, you may not think about, but hopefully gives a lot of value such as this. So. 
Anyway, as I said, like the video if you liked it. Thank you all so much for sticking around, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.